Okay, so another way that we can get back pressure is if we have a pump system, right? And say the master valve didn't work or something stopped and the pump kicked on, maybe the pump kicked on and our valves were off and it just builds the pressure in the main line, that can also force the water back too. So really those are the only types of ways we can see it. If we have increased uh, elevated downstream piping, so our pipes for our irrigation system go back, or if we have like a pump, something like that, back pressure. So we don't have a lot of back pressure issues, right? That seems kind of strange. Um, so there's another backflow that we see a lot other than an RP for irrigation. And that's that pressure vacuum breaker that you have there. I'll go over that one next. But and I'll go over why, why we use that one. So back to the RP. So that's back pressure. So depending on your system, you may or may not have <coughs> back pressure. Excuse me. Right? Depends. If I don't have a pump and I'm on flat ground, am I going to have back pressure? No, I'm not. Right? Okay. So that's why there's different backflows, there's different options, depending. But a lot of people now, they just say, just put an RP in, I don't have to deal with it, just put an RP in, which is fine, right? Um, okay, so now we cover back pressure. I feel pretty good about that one. So now we're gonna go to back siphon, or back siphonage, right? So every single connection to a meter, or not necessarily a meter, but to the public potable water system, which we have to have metered because that's how they charge us, right? Um, that's called a cross connection, right? So a cross connection is anytime we, we tap into drinking water, potable water. Anytime we have that, we're susceptible to back siphonage. So that goes without saying, every single backflow prevention assembly, like this RP here, can protect against back siphonage, right? Because if everyone has to be that is connected to drinking water can have back siphonage, well, everyone better protect against that, right? That makes sense. Okay, so a siphon, it's pretty simple, okay? Have you guys ever siphoned gas or used a hose to pull gas out of a tank or something like that? You're in the field and you need something for your mower or something like that? How do we do that? We create a vacuum, right? We start sucking. Okay, because Right. Mm -hmm. right, or if it's like, you know, like we all have, you know, times when times are tough, you know, like when there's too much month at the end of the month, you know, we don't have enough money, <laughs> we're waiting for that, <laughs> we need gas, you know, hey, whatever you guys do, like you said, just don't get caught. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what a siphon is, okay, so a siphon is something going to be on the potable water side, where all that pressure gets dropped. And by doing that, it pulls all the water away because this side, all of a sudden the inlet pressure drops and now this guy didn't get increased, but since it's sustained, it is now higher pressure than what the inlet is, so it'll pull back. Does that kind of make sense? A little bit, okay. So we can think about it also like a straw, right? <clears throat> I have soda here. You create a vacuum, right? So when we when we, we pull we pull in with our lungs, we're creating a vacuum, right? So that's a siphon. Siphon, exactly. This is a siphon right here. No, no, okay. No siphon is an act that of the waters that's happening in the water. Okay. That's a pressure vacuum breaker. Okay, so good. that breaks so that breaks a siphon. Okay. And we'll go over that. We'll go over how that okay. how it does that. All right. So they all do. They all do that same thing, right? Because they have to, right? That's the most common. It's not the most common, I shouldn't say that, but but it everyone that's connected to the water can happen because it's on the city side, right? So I try to think, okay, so how 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 could that happen? Well, First of all, you think the city main line could break or something, right? Drop the pressure, right? High usage, right? Um, but more, more likely, um, one of the big ones, and you'll see the examples in our books and everything like that, is a fire truck, right? Mm -hmm. There's a building on fire. What does the fire truck do? They hook up to the water. Right, they hook up to, to, a, fire to a fire hydrant, right? Uh -huh. 
fire hydrant's directly connected. That's basically, in our, you know, we think of it, that's a quick coupler, right? So you're explaining what a siphon is, right? place yes. to stop okay. that okay. water from going back. Okay, so uh, first is the siphon. We talked about a siphon analogy, right? Right. Okay. So the fire truck hooks up to the fire hydrant, right? Yeah. right? yeah. And it pulls the water, right? Oh, yeah. And it's pulling the water. Now the pressure drops. So remember, water, if you just think about it in the basic, what, what I was kind of going over, water goes from high to low, right? Mm -hmm. So this backflow, and this goes for all backflows, they drop pressure from my downstream side, right? Mm -hmm. From the inlet. Yeah, so I have my pressure coming in here. Yeah. It, this drops my pressure. So this pressure is always lower. So I always think of it like this, right? This is my main pressure. This is after the backflow. Okay, la analogía es de que de un lado donde entra el agua, ahí siempre va a haber mucha presión. Mm -hmm. Okay, y del lado que salga del outlet, va, siempre va a bajar la presión. Okay. Okay, so it's happy, right? Water's not gonna go from lower and get past high pressure, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense? But, okay, entonces, es, la agua no va a bajar de, de presión, no va a bajar de, de este, uh, no va a subir de, no va a bajar de presión ni por un lado, ni va a bajar de presión por el, de, por el otro lado, porque en un lado siempre va a haber mucha y en otro lado, o en el lado donde sale, siempre va a haber menos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a siphon, I drop my pressure coming in, right? And then if it just keeps going, we'll go, oh, this is going to follow, right? Because it, it goes from... It goes from high to low, but now if my high gets lower than my low, right, it's going to go that way. That's, okay. how, that's how a siphon works. Okay, okay. Otra cosa. Este, si es que la presión va donde está entrando mm -hmm. el agua, ¿verdad? Y si sube donde está saliendo, se el agua se va a regresar. Okay, se va a regresar el agua. Entonces, así es como trabaja el siphon. Okay. So the siphon works always keeping the water high on the one side and keeping it low on the other well, side. No, so we're the just, water won't drop. We're just talking about what a siphon is. Okay. okay. Just not about like how this protects okay. or anything. No, like estamos, that. estamos hablando nada más de lo que el siphon is, no de lo que hace el back. Okay. No, So if all, all I want you to understand and remember is just this one, well, two things, right? One from each. So when you think back pressure, you think my irrigation pressure is high. When I think back siphonage, my main line or my meter pressure is low. That's all you gotta remember. 